your own fear that was stopping you from becoming the best version of yourself. And what's crazy is that these musicians within a drug and alcohol ridden industry were able to push through the distractions to become some of the fittest, most badass people within the industry. So in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step system that Nita Strauss, now ex-touring guitarist of Alice Cooper, and a successful solo artist used to uncover her massive potential so that you can finally kick your ass in motion and become the best version of yourself. Nita has so far achieved what no woman in metal has. She joined the likes of Steve Vai and Joe Satriani in having her own Ibanez signature guitar, becoming the first female musician ever in history to have done so. She also made history when her solo Dead Inside with Disturbed Frontman hit number one on the mainstream rock airplay chart, making her the first solo woman in over 30 years to have achieved this feat. This bombshell guitar goddess is in incredible shape and her commitment to health and fitness has shown many in the rock and metal industry that you do not need drugs and alcohol to be a fucking badass. She's also been featured on bodybuilding.com and muscle and fitness. When Nita was seven or eight years old, she did ballet and competed in gymnastics with her sister. Her school even had a pentathlon where they competed against other schools and Nita beat all the girls in her age group. Even at that age, she would lay in bed before her performance and visualize her routine in detail. She would visualize every step, every nuance, right up to the point of winning and accepting the prize. Nita continues to visualize to this day. She imagines playing on stage, moving people with her performance, the reaction of the crowd down to her every move. Now here's a fact, a lot of top performers, regardless of of their profession know how important it is to picture themselves succeeding in their heads before they actually do in real life. The more vivid they are with details, the better they perform. Right up from picturing the audience, how they move and the crowd's reaction when they finish. Boxing legend Muhammad Ali visualized himself winning way before the actual fight. Michael Jordan saw himself taking the last shot in his mind before he actually did it in reality. Jim Carrey visualized himself being the greatest actor in the world and even went so far as to write himself a $10 million check for acting so is rendered. Dating a 10 years in the future, 10 years later he was cast in the movie Dumb and Dumber for 10 million dollars. And so from a young age, Nita understood the power of harnessing her mind to get her body to behave in a way she imagined. This translated to more confidence on stage and ultimately her success. Nita Strauss was once smoking and drinking constantly on tour. She didn't play a show without having a drink first because she thought that it gave her the confidence to perform better. She came to realize that regularly going on tour was having a huge impact on her physical health and that her body couldn't keep functioning with all the alcohol and smoking. She was 50 pounds heavier and constantly fighting with her boyfriend. In an interview with Blabomart, she said alcohol was extremely detrimental in my personal life. She said when I would drink, I would start fights, get emotional and overreact to stupid things. According to Muscle and Fit, she said, I realized my body wasn't recovering the way that it had. I know it's only going to get more and more difficult as time progresses and I was seeing all the effects of the unhealthy lifestyle, the alcohol, the junk food, traveling all the time, constantly being on airplanes and tour buses and playing six or seven shows a week. She even recalls going on stage with a female co-player, both hammered, making huge mistakes and laughing over it, thinking it was funny. Looking back, she sees what an unprofessional mentality that was and decided that she needed to break up with alcohol. It wasn't easy though. Alcohol was almost a given in the music industry and Nita was worried that she wouldn't be accepted if she quit drinking. In fact, she was terrified. Would people still want to hang with her? But most importantly, would she be able to play on stage without a drink first? The first performance without alcohol was a struggle. She felt her confidence drop and was concerned that people were looking at her and that she was messing up. So much so that she broke into tears after the show. But then, when people came up to her after the show asking her where she had all that energy from, telling her how she fucking crushed her performance and how much they loved seeing her on stage, she started to realize that she could in fact do without the alcohol and that all that insecurity, all the fears, all the doubt was just in her head. She got sober in 2015 and started to see numerous signs that she had made the right decision. She dropped 50 pounds, felt really good in a bikini, her relationship improved and her career skyrocketed. Instead of fighting and drama, she now had productivity and peace. She learned a lot about friendship too and told Blabomouth, my busy circle of friends was almost immediately reduced to a 4-3. I've learned that when it comes to friendships, quality is always better than quantity. If your friends have no interest in spending time with you after you make a change for the better, they want you real friends. Wow, so true. She credits her boyfriend Josh B, Nikki Six from Muttley Crew and Zach Wild for having an influence on her journey to getting sober. She never participated in Alcoholics Anonymous to help her stay sober. 
Being on the road constantly with limited access to a gym can be very hard. As any gym enthusiast knows, even a few days away from home can mean chaos to your routine if you don't plan ahead. Quitting alcohol wasn't enough. Nita had to make some drastic changes to her physical health and start taking care of her body. If she was going to perform to her full potential on stage, she stopped going to the bar after her shows and instead started waking up early to go to the gym. She decided to start working out again with her girlfriend at Powerhouse LA. Nita remembers being very intimidated when she walked into the gym. She didn't know how anything worked. She would look up each exercise and it took her a long time to get comfortable in the gym. Nita then decided to take her fitness seriously and instead of following Instagram influencers who she couldn't really relate to, she then signed up with coach Ingrid Romero and her husband Joe from Team Edge who would give her a tailored plan to improve her endurance and functionality on stage, her strength and also her muscle tone. This was a game changer as Nita constantly toured, well she still tours and could only train in hotel rooms or gym. Today she looks at her stage performance as a workout. She has a step tracker to track her steps on stage trying to hit her 10k goal. If you've watched her perform on stage you'll see how active she is, running back and forth with high energy moves and jumps. She wears a waist trimmer called Sweet Sweat to help her sweat more. She carries resistance bands with her for a hotel room or gym workouts and tries to get in at least 3-4 to four workouts a week. She says the first thing I do when I get to a new time zone is go straight to the gym. Every single time. Even though I'm sometimes too tired to have the most stellar workout, I find that getting moving and getting blood to the muscles makes a huge difference in jet lag and adjusting to the new time. Before her stage performance, she does sprints, less lifting and more cardio for about 90 minutes to get her prep and energized. Most importantly, Nita always tries to be prepared. If she forgets to bring her gym shoes or resistance pants, she knows there will be consequences and she'll have to miss her workout. She constantly exercises discipline around prepping for her tours. Nita's gym playlist includes I Prevail, Disturb, Kill Switch Engage, Ramstein, Amaranth, Machine Head and In Flames among others. You can find it on Spotify. Finding healthy food even while traveling on vacation is hard and if you're not prepared, you'll be forced to eat whatever is available. One of the biggest changes Nita knew she had to make was with her nutrition. And while she loves being home and cooking in her own kitchen, she prepares herself really well ahead of her tours. She uses Trifecta Nutrition to have her meals and snacks delivered to her on tour. Her meals are super healthy, oil-free and delicious. Apart from having healthy Trifecta meals delivered to her on tour, she makes a stop at the grocery store to stock up on protein and healthy food and snacks. She uses the RP Strength app on tour which always helps to stay on point with her nutrition, especially when she doesn't have her usual food to rely on. She says it's a total game changer and can be used anywhere you are in the world. She's also an advocate of first form supplements. Nita loves her protein level 1 bars and says that these are her secret weapon for when she gets a sweet tooth, usually at the end of the night. These bars have 20 grams of protein and Nita suggests trying the peanut butter lover and chocolate peanut butter pretzel. Nita also uses first form protein powder for shakes and her favorite snack by mixing the protein powder with egg whites and microwaving it for a delicious healthy mug cake. She tries to drink at least half a gallon of water a day, takes L-carnitine before her show, BCAAs during her show, and after her show refrains from eating a meal. After her shows, Nita usually has a protein shake, usually with banana, chocolate, and soy milk. In addition, Nita takes Opti Greens and Opti Reds to boost her immune system and gut health. Like most successful people, Nita doesn't allow setbacks to pull her down. For example, Nita recently tore the medial meniscus in her right knee on stage and had to have a steroid shot a few days later. This was while she was on tour. Instead of feeling sorry for herself, she did not back off from the gym. Now, she didn't endanger herself further by going hard through the injury. Instead, she just changed the way she worked out and was really diligent with her rehab exercises. She gets her custom programs from Team Elite Physique and she also supplemented with a program from Knees Over Toes Guy three times a week. Her cardio was just bike plus backwards walking on a treadmill she says were all game changers. She also made sure to take turmeric which is an anti-inflammatory, vitamin D3 as her body is naturally vitamin D deficient in order to reduce joint and muscle pain. In addition, she travels with first form joint mobility supplement to help maintain good joint health and first forms full mega to further support healthy joints, ligaments and tendons. Given Nita's lifestyle both on and off stage, she trains, eats and looks like an athlete. She made some tough choices in her journey, from pushing out of the comfort alcohol gave her, constantly visualizing success, working on the guitar every free moment she had and all this while balancing her nutrition and training three to four times a week. That takes discipline and hard work. In Nita's interview with Metal Insider, she spoke about how the feeling of accomplishment is way more rewarding than the buzz and hangover from drinking alcohol. She goes on to say that being productive, getting stuff done, seeing her body change has given her last 
lasting beneficial effects. It wasn't just kicking the alcohol though. Nita had to train her mind to be strong enough to grow into the character she visualized herself to be. The best version of her and that is the truly remarkable feat. She says, All I ever dreamed of since I was 13 was to play guitar all over the world and hopefully inspire more girls to pick up an instrument and to do the same. And I feel luckier and more grateful than I could ever explain to get to live that dream. What an absolute beast. I hope that Nita's story has inspired you to step out of your comfort zone. Work hard and believe that your dreams can come true. If you're looking for some more serious inspiration to kick your ass into gear, make sure that you check out these five fit metal musicians who absolutely crush it right here.